Hello, this is Electrical Awareness. My name is Jeroboam Kimtai. Today we are going to learn about something simple, something everyone knows. So uh, you are welcome to learn with us as we continue in this program. We are going to, I'm going to make you get aware more about how power is applied in this nation, especially in Kenya. Many people are doing a lot of constructions and so applying power is inevitable and so you are welcome as we continue subscribe share and like this youtube channel because of this information that is going on around what you need to know application is done for three reasons one maybe you are applying for a new line or rather you want to be connected to the national grid Number two, you already are connected to the national grid, but you would wish to add meters, to do additional meters to your premise. Another reason may be the load you, the, the load you have is little. Maybe you have single phase and you want to upgrade into three phase, then you will do what we call additional load. So you will either apply for new connection or additional meters or additional load and so uh, this is the procedure whichever thing you want to apply one you need to be uh, you need to be the owner of the of the of the of the plot number two you need to be uh, to be conversant of what happens at the apply application application uh, stations like Kenya power offices for example now, what you need to go and apply at the Kenya Power, you need to go to the Kenya Power and get the form called Inquiry for Supply. We have two forms, Inquiry for Supply and Supply Contract. So the beginning one is called Inquiry for Supply. After you have gotten that form, you will get portions to fill in, to fill in your names, to fill in your plot number, to fill in uh, the location you are in, the box number, and also and many other things that will be asked to fill in there. So in that, after you have filled, you will be required to attach the following. The ID photocopy or the passport photocopy, whichever identity you are using, be it a national identification card or a passport. Then after you have found either of the passport or the national ID, you also need to attach your PIN photocopy, the photocopy of personal identification, the KRA one. And then another one is the title deed, the photocopy, photocopy of the title deed, in short, ownership certificate. It may be the title deed or the allotment letter. And then draw a sketch map leading the Kenya power personnel to your to your premise or to your plot okay so point to note is the identification you are using be it national id or the passport should be the one reflecting in the ownership certificate if you used the ownership if you used the id to acquire the ownership certificate that is the title deed then you'll be required to do a photocopy of the same and if you used the passport to acquire your your your, your plot then you'll be used to you'll be required to photocopy the passport so after you have touched you have attached that you take back to the kenya power offices near you and then that very very day you are supposed to come out with the reference number the reference number now we have been talking about application for new connection, application for additional meters, or application for the additional load. So if you applied for the new connection, your reference number will appear 14 digits, but beginning with the letter E. That is new connection. If you are applying for, 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 for additional meters, then meter is keyword there. Your number then your 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 numbers are fourteen, but beginning with M, okay, and then additional load. You are you are you are applying 
for the additional load your guess is right it will begin with a a plus other 14 digits that is it now after you have come with your reference number the kenya power company will send people to come and do the assessment of the plot and do their things if for example you are, you are applying for the new meters additional meters they will have to assess if the meters are too many then you'll, you'll, they will be forced to change for you to uh, for the application from additional meters to additional load but if you have the right the right cable for you if you have already the three first cable with you then you they'll just assess that and then take back the the information they have this one will be able to help them uh, to do the quotation then after two weeks you will receive your quotation then immediately receive the quotation what remains then is to pay the quotation of the amount that they have charged or that the company kenya power has charged just pay after you have paid you wait for two three or one two three days or one week then this amount will be transferred from your from the accounts to the uh, to the to, to to the appropriate department in kenya power ready for continue continuing now by continuing i mean you will now be required to take back another form this is not inquiry supply now it is supply contract form this supply contract is now another form that you're supposed to take back you will take this form you will fill it like you filled the, the previous form with your id pin allotment letter or or in this case if it's not allotment letter then title deed and also a sketch map after that another extra thing you need to go to attach with it now is the certificate wiring certificate wiring certificate is the permission of the three of the following three this will capture commencement of work and then it will capture also the, the, the wiring certificate, the certificate of that work, and it also capture the test certificate. So commencement of work, uh, test certificate, and certificate of wiring. Now, these three are captured in one form, wiring certificate. This wiring certificate is authorized by the EPRA Energy and Pet Petroleum Regulatory Authority. In fact, this information is in their portal now, but it is only issued out by a registered a registered electrician, either from class A, B, or C registration by the same body, EPRA, Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority. This one is an assurance that the work that was done there there has been commenced it has continued or the wiring has been done and it has been done properly and also it has been tested in the testing uh, in the uh, it has properly been tested so after that has been taken together supply contract form another person shall be sent from the Kenya power again to come and assess how this power shall have to reach your house <coughs> this is what we call way leaves the route to your premise they'll come and assess it after that has been done then after a few a few days you'll have your new line or additional meters or additional load to your premise so follow this procedure don't be uh, confused any long uh, anymore follow this procedure that i have said and then you'll be able to know so this is how you apply for electricity in this nation kenya remember you apply to the kenya power kenya power company it used to be kenya power lighting company but today it has been divide, divided ketraco and Kenya Power. Ketraco deals with transmission and then Kenya Power deals with connectivity, additional meters, 
emergencies here and there. So you apply to the Kenya Power. So application is done by either you yourself, the customer, or you can use your electrician to help you or any other person. But make sure information is captured well to avoid confusion. Otherwise, thank you for watching and enjoy watching this, this channel even as I expect that you are going to share with others out there. Otherwise, let's meet in the next episode. Thank you very much.